Hi there, this is Sean, the Honest Book Reviewer, with another book review. In this video we're discussing O is for Outlaw, written by Sue Crafton. It's book 15 in the Alphabet Mystery Series. This is a very interesting book because it dives into Kinsey's past, and we haven't seen that in detail in this series so far. So we've gone through a lot of the series by now, and being the first time we delve into Kinsey's past in detail it makes this book very interesting and intriguing and quite exciting as well. I enjoyed this a lot because it just adds so much more depth to Kinsey, a character that we had a lot of depth with originally. Kinsey gets a call out of the blue. Some guy has a box with a lot of papers from her past. It was part of a storage unit and that was sold off at auction because the person who owned that unit wasn't paying the bills. Kinsey's intrigued. She's just wondering what's in this box that most of it's probably papers she doesn't want anymore, you know, from her days at school and things like that. But she's intrigued enough to go and meet the guy and get the box and see what's in there. Digging through the contents, she finds some mail and she realizes that the box was owned by her ex-husband, who was a policeman when they were together, but they haven't seen each other for over 14 years. And now she's wondering, What's happened to her ex-husband? Why wasn't he paying the bills on this storage unit? Is he in trouble? Did something happen to him? Also in the box, she finds a letter that she'd never seen before. It was addressed to her. In this letter, a lady called Dixie is writing to Kinsey from 14 years ago about an incident that involved her ex-husband. There was a fight 14 years ago and people thought her ex-husband hit a guy, and then he later died from injuries. Kinsey believed that as well, and wouldn't back her ex-husband up. But this letter suggests that he was innocent, that at the time, this lady called Dixie and her ex-husband were having an affair, so he couldn't have been guilty of this man's death 14 years ago. It's interesting because Kinsey now is facing something from her past that she never thought she'd have to face. And so she wants to find her ex-husband, and wants to get to the truth. So we've got many things going on in this story. Where's her ex-husband? What happened to him? Why didn't he pay his bills for this storage unit? And also, what really happened to this person that died 14 years ago? If it wasn't her ex-husband, who was responsible? While Kinsey is trying to dig for clues, she gets a visit from two detectives. They give her some shocking news. Her ex-husband has been shot twice and is now in intensive care in a coma. The weapon used in this crime was registered to Kinsey. She hasn't seen the weapon for 14 years, ever since she broke up with her ex-husband. But they still suspect her. They got questions for her, and the questions just lead Kinsey to think that they think that she was responsible for this shooting. But she wasn't, but she wants to find out who was. And so she has to get her detective hat on, her PI hat on, and dig for clues, dig for answers, and find out the truth. She has to find out where her ex-husband was living at the time. And this opens up some great scenes in this story. So there are two sisters who kind of manage this apartment building where her ex-husband Mickey was living. And they're great characters, and they seem to welcome Kinsey into their home. They let her stay there as well overnight. There's some fun characters in this story. It reminds me a lot about another character from a previous book. I think it was Be for Burglar. I think that was the book that I'm thinking of, where Kinsey goes to an apartment building to track down clues about somebody, and there's an old lady there who manages, who lives in the apartments, not manages them. But she lives there, and she welcomes Kinsey into her home and tries to help Kinsey with her case. And I get the, the sense that these two characters in this book are very similar to that old lady in the previous book in this series. But while Kinsey is at her ex-husband's apartment, this guy turns up and he seems quite menacing, quite dangerous, and he even smashes the window of a neighbour, because a neighbour tries to buddy and find out what this guy is doing out there in the middle of the night. Kinsey's scared of this guy. She doesn't see him really at all, because it's dark, but she's scared enough to get out of the apartment and run. And Later on, she tries to track down this person because she wonders if this person the person who was responsible for the shooting. She's not sure, but she does find out more about this dangerous person later on in the story. I won't delve further into the plot in this video 
because I don't want to give any of it away. I'll just say that there are many suspects again in this book. Kinsey changes her mind about people in this book. She switches in her mind on who's the main suspect. And because of that, the reader, the reader does as well. But there are a wide cast of suspects again in this story. And some of them are in the story as suspects by chance. Because they're related to, or they're friends of, other main characters in this story. That was quite interesting, having friends of support characters come into the story and then become suspects. This opens up more suspects in this story and makes the mystery more complex and very deep. There are two characters from the story I want to mention in this video. The first is Dixie Hightower. Dixie is the lady that was having an affair with Kinsey's ex-husband 14 years ago. She's still married to the same person now. And her husband was a Vietnam vet, I think, a war veteran. And he was in a wheelchair 14 years ago. And 14 years ago, he was in, in a sorry state. He was drinking a lot and other things. And you got the impression that he may not even survive for a lot of years from 14 years ago. But he turned his life around and he now has a multi-million dollar business. And Dixie is still married to him. Why? We assume that she's married to him just because of the money. We just get that feeling, the money and the lifestyle. Because she seems still to be the same type of person that she was 14 years ago. And there are some interesting scenes between Dixie and Kinsey in this book as the story goes on. And we get the impression that Dixie is not very apologetic about what happened 14 years ago. And you get the impression that Kinsey's ex-husband wasn't the only person she was having an affair with all those years ago either. So Dixie is, is an important character in this story because she's closely linked to the ex-husband and to other people in this story as well that become suspects. But it's interesting to see a character that creates a bit of unease in Kinsey's mind because Kinsey just looks at her all the time and remembers what she was like 14 years ago. Carlin Duffy is a very well-written character. And he's the character that was the threatening person at the ex-husband's apartment. And Kinsey gets to track him down and find out more about him. And we find out that he was an ex-convict, but he's also quite a nice person. So when Kinsey first thought he was threatening and quite dangerous, he's not so threatening and not so dangerous. And they become friends almost in a way in this story. That was interesting to see. And he's a very endearing character as well, Carl and Duffy. And even though he seems to have a lot of troubles in this book, he seems so gentle as well at certain times in the story. So a very complex character in this book. And it's another character that Sue Grafton has created that makes a big impact just for one story. O is for Outlaw, I think, is one of the most important books in this series so far, just because it delves into Kinsey's past. It opens up that whole past storyline to the readers. And it just gives us a whole new aspect to Kinsey's life that we had little snippets of before, but not the complete picture. So this book, I think, is one of the most important books in the series. And if you're a regular reader of this series, make sure you read this book as well. Don't skip over it because it just gives you so much more detail about Kinsey's life and about things that motivate her in her current life as well in this series. I rate this a 4 out of 5. For me, it's one of the better books in this series. Not the best book, but one of the better books. And the mystery in this book is so complex and just so convincing as well. There are so many good characters in this story as well. And characters that change in Kinsey's mind as the story goes on from her past and also just new characters in the present. As I go through each book in this series, I'll do a book review and put that video up online. If you don't want to miss out on those videos, check out my channel and subscribe. There's also a Sue Grafton playlist on my channel. It should be on your screen now.